but today I am going to do the video uh, attempt to do the video that I said in my last video that I was gonna do at the campground and it rained and it was windy and I just didn't want to do that to you all so I'm going to attempt to redo that video today so as you know we went camping and if you would like to know what that was like stay tuned so as you know we are more into like traveling now instead of food reviews because I just couldn't keep up with the food stuff it was just too much and I started packing on the pounds and that's not what I want and I really like traveling over junk food anyway so as you know this is what we're doing now and right now with all the craziness of the world it is super hard to do any kind of travel anything our jobs don't want us traveling as much my job doesn't want me traveling because it's all shut down right now my husband's job he don't travel very much but whenever he does that's what he does but he can't travel right now either so we went camping and you know with the social distancing and everything it's pretty easy to do at the campground but i think that more states could open their campgrounds if they do like every other campsite is available and make it to where there's campsites in between you so that uh people could still enjoy camping at this point because the weather's starting to get nice i mean as you can see i'm in a sweatshirt today and it is april where i'm at it doesn't get warm till later on this month like for a good long time like we had a couple days that it was going to be warm that's my thoughts on like other states and opening their campgrounds so that they can let their people enjoy it and not go stir crazy just sitting inside and not able to do anything because of me and my husband's jobs we're kind of used to just always being at home just not so much with the kids constantly being there hence the reason why i'm in my camper making this video because it is like the one place that is super quiet and you won't hear everybody being crazy in there but let's talk about what i talked about at the beginning of this about our camping trip okay whenever we go and we picked our campsite we wanted one that was going to be near water and we wanted one near the park so we found like the perfect site that we wanted to be at well we got there and they had signs posted saying that you cannot play at the playground. We did not know this going into camping. If we did, we probably would have camped somewhere else. But I will have a picture of the sign right here. And what makes that difficult is whenever you have kids that want to play at the playground. And you're telling them, you're explaining to them. And then you have like families that go over there, totally ignore the signs, everything. And it's playing at the playground and you have to go through the whole spill again with your kid. You can't play at the playground because of all the craziness of the world. That's what we're going to call it right now. If you could see what I'm talking about in this video. Or in this window over here. That is what I'm talking about. Not the beer, but you know what I'm talking about. YouTube's a little weird right now. So you can't say those words. So I'm just going to have it in the background. And they are no longer going to make that beer for a while because uh, Mexico is actually closing a lot of their uh, places that they make that kind of stuff. So if you're going to go get any kind of beer that is imported and you are in the United States, you better run out and get it because they are really going to start limiting it. But back to camping, you know, that is going to make it to where the campgrounds are going to end up shutting down because people do not acknowledge these signs and the social distancing thing which <laughs> we did end up talking to people while we were camping but that was only because they were in the campsite next to us and they had kids it is hard to tell your little kids under five oh there's a little one next to you you can't go to the park you can't play with the kid next to you so we just kind of came together and said that we were we both agreed 
our kids would be fine just playing together right in our campsites. Being that we really couldn't do much else. It rained, it was super windy, and when it wasn't raining, we were all out trying to have a fire and enjoy ourselves in our own campsites, except our kids running around together, which was fine. We did take our bikes and we rode them a little bit, but like I said, it rained and was windy most of the time, so that's why I didn't make the video at the campsite. I don't even know what to say about that, about the whole camping thing. Like I said, it would be easy for other states to open their campgrounds if they did like every other campsite thing. That way people have a distance between them. Now when it comes to your kids, if they see each other and can't play at the playground, it is going to be a little difficult to keep them even a campsite away from each other. Okay, moving on past that, we did enjoy our trip. We are going to be going on some more trips if we don't do any work at home. We kind of do get stir crazy because we do both work from home he works from home probably a little more than i do anymore but my job's kind of closed right now so i can't quite go to work um our schools here where we are announced that we are not going to be in school for the rest of the school year which is going to be super difficult because i'm not a teacher and i feel for anybody with kids that are in elementary school that have to deal with their children and having to teach them. Mine is in high school and my other one hasn't started school yet. So he's gonna be doing online school for the rest of the school year. Not gonna be fun, but that's what we have to do to not have to make up the time. Uh, what else was I gonna talk about? Oh, cruising. You know, we talked about we were gonna be going on a cruise and that was gonna get me three videos down the road and because of that, I had to make other videos to come up with to fill the void of those three videos. I will have more camper videos here in the next couple weeks. Stay tuned for that. I just don't have them up right now because I feel like that is not an importance right now. I don't feel like people are searching for that so they're not going to go up for a little while. I will have different videos so stay tuned for those. They're not all going to be about this. Um, we're talking about cruising. Okay. When it comes to cruising right now, they have actually stopped cruising until sometime in May. I talked to my person with cruising and he says that he don't even know when they're going to start cruising again. So that's not going to be fun. Uh, that's really all I have for you today. Uh, leave it in the comments below how this all has affected you. What is it like in your town? They are starting to make it to where you can no longer just go into the store. You can only have so many people in the stores here, which is super crazy because now we got all these people standing outside in a line waiting to go into the grocery store. Uh, what else? Lots of jobs have started closing. It's just crazy. So let me know in the comments below how you are doing and how this all has affected you and I will see you in the next video. Like I always say, show me some love, like, comment, subscribe, become part of the crowd. Check that box below to see all the other places I am on the internet, and we'll catch you later.